problems gaining weight, losing weight. Well, you know somebody that's had problems gaining weight or losing weight. We're going to talk about it. Now, in this story that we're going to tell today, it's a, it's a, the names have been changed to protect the innocent. We're going to talk about a guy we went to school with, and we're going to call him Big John. Now, ever since junior high, again, that's how old Laquita is, junior high school, grades 7 through ninth, we knew this gentleman, uh, this kid named Big John. Big John, Big John was about five foot eight, nine inches tall, and he was he weighed over 300 pounds at a very early age. And he was teased and bullied a lot because of his size. And of course, when you're teased and bullied a lot, you also you you often become the person that teases and bullies as well. Mm, mm, the mm. teachers really had a hard time dealing with Big John because he was always sarcastic, always had um, what they called the old folks called smart mouth things to say, just to gain, become a class clown to take the attention off of his weight problem. Yeah, I'm a six bows. Hmm. But you know, no Oprah is only here uh, because of his namesake. Oh my goodness. Good news, Corey. <laughs> Uh, JT Coin Rings is not going to be like Big John because he's just started working out and he changed his eating this week. Nice. Let us know if you're including any iodine because we're talking about iodine for your thyroid health today. Go ahead with Big John. Now, Big John tried some of everything to make to, to be part of the quote unquote in crowd, but also to lose weight. He joined the football team for a spell, but he couldn't make it because of all the running and all the weightlifting, all the exercises that was required to participate in the sport. Dang, Oreo Mouse. Homeboy couldn't even play the sports he, in school. He tried wrestling, which had a very strict regimen as far as making sure that you stayed at a certain weight. But he found that he could not make the wrestling team either because of the physical demands. Now, as we were going through high school, people would continue to tease Big John about his weight problem. So well, one day... When he went out of the classroom after a, after an outburst in class with responding to somebody's bullying, the teacher closed the door and she said, I just want all you guys to know that while you guys are teasing Big John about his weight problem, he has a thyroid condition that he can't help. He did. Yes. And we found that out from a teacher who had found out from his, his uh, parents who had told his guidance counselor because he kept getting into trouble. Uh, well, with that came a little bit more understanding, a little bit more patience, and a whole lot less teasing and bullying for Big John, for those of us that knew. And then when the time did come, you, somebody stepped in and began to tease and bully him and didn't understand why, we would just pull him aside and say, hey, man, or hey, that's mm. not cool. So, the, but this, the top, the, that wasn't just the end of the story, because we found out that he had this problem after we went to a local theme park after the day after prom. We went to prom. The big John went. He paid thirty-five dollars, a whopping thirty-five dollars for a ticket back then to get into a theme park. <laughs> Unheard of these days. Well, Big John, he walked around the park and he was uh, hanging out with his friends and fellow classmates. When he went to get on a ride, he found out he was too large. Ooh, to now y'all know ride. this was before they had those testers. Test cars. Yeah. So say for example, uh, AJ is road tripping, right? He's like, uh, okra is Oklahoma grass because mm -hmm. <laughs> no okra said don't eat okra because there's no iodine in it. Y'all, eat your okra, but I'm sure both of you, AJS Road Trippin' and No Okra, both of y'all are old enough. I mean, I don't know if you're old enough to remember this, Oreo Mouse. Before they, you went to the theme park, they did not have that tester seat. Now, Odom, Odom's Homestead, I know you're old enough to know this. Not to say you're old, I'm just saying you're older. But theme parks now, if you get on a roller coaster, they have that chair so you can see if you can fit into the seat because mm -hmm. people are just becoming larger. I don't know if everybody has a thyroid issue, but we're talking about thyroids and iodine today. So let us know if anybody out there, if you've had problems losing weight, if you've had problems gaining weight, we know folks on both spectrums. So. So again, that was one of the most embarrassing moments probably ever in the history of mankind. So wait, when he went to the theme he park, went to the theme park, he went to get on a roller coaster. And again, like the Coup Marie said, they did not have the tester cars before you get on, got on the ride. He was in front of a crowd full of people and was told that he was too big to fit the ride. And he was met with a round of laughter, jeers, points. And of course, he exited with a, 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 his own flurry of insults and, and finger pointing and bullying that he returned the favors to everybody. But it was when we came back to the school, I jumped ahead of myself earlier, when we came back to the school and everybody was reporting on the situation and making it a point of humor, that's when the teacher explained to us, again, remember, he cannot help his situation. He has a thyroid issue that causes him not to be able to lose weight with a slow metabolism. So that but, that, but I say, say all that to say, even though people- that you say all that to say, eat okra, because Oldham Homestead, 
he grows it to pickle to pickle the okra. Grandkids love pickled okra, he says. I like mine's raw. But again, you can say all that to say thyroid issues can be helped if you know what to do to manage your thyroid condition. We're and if, talk you don't about know today. What, if you don't know what to do, put in hashtag the home team. That way, if you're watching on the replay, you won't win this race, but you will win from the information that we're going to give today. So Bravo with Sheila, ladies, let's chat, has already put it in there. And of course, Sonovia Ridley put in hashtag the home team. We'll be running first place pony soon and very soon. And look, Oreo Mouse said, oh, wow, oh, no. <laughs> I think they're talking about this okra. Let's let's set the record straight, Corey, because on today's episode, uh, AJ is road tripping and saying, I like my okra on someone else's plate. Mm -hmm. The good news is we're not advising you to eat okra. I advise you to eat okra every day of the week, trust me. But Gail is advising you all to click the like button. All I'm saying is that uh, if you want to balance your thyroid, a lot of doctors, Dr. Neil Barnard, Dr. Michael Greger, Dr. Uh, Milton Mills. Dr. Milton Mills, Dr. Brooke Goldner. Now she reverses lupus, Dr. Brooke Goldner, because that's her personal story. She's helped so many people with autoimmune diseases. However, Dr. Brooke Goldner also talks a lot about uh, different hormones and you know your thyroid secretes a hormone that affects your weight loss or your weight gain. So of course, Ms. Trish has put in hashtag the home team right along with Cassandra South Fulton Garden and Odin's home the sunshine is out and bright today yeah keep putting it in there and you know what Indiana backyard gardener is probably out there in the sunshine because she's like she popped in and hit the thumbs up but she can't stay we know the growers have to grow so do your thing y'all we're going to do the first place pony once we answer this question about increasing your iodine answer this y'all how can you um what foods do you eat I'll ask that. What foods do you eat to make sure that you get iodine into your diet or into your meal plan every day? You tell us. Now look, see, Sonovia is, is, is suggesting okra. It's not me, y'all. She says, eat okra to balance your thyroid. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much. Gail at Night is reminding you all, this is for informational purposes only. None of this is medical advice. You need medical advice, go talk to your own physician. Your own physician, or go talk to hands in the dirt. Stacy can guide you on foods that grow best. Uh, it's not medical advice. He's just giving you all food advice. So look, y'all go to hands in the dirt and <laughs> but again, get the info. To understand where the And stop talking bad about okra, AJ's road tripping, because Oreo Mouse 888 is 8888 is you know hanging out having a good time with the birthday boy yoga with gogo you know he's uh from kenya in kenya had a birthday yesterday happy birthday yoga with gogo let's sing his birthday song this, this is your birthday song, song. it, it is a very long. long all right now <laughs> again, you we're... don't have to sing in that many keys yoga with gogo but yes happy birthday and if you're just getting here make sure you put in hashtag the home team because yoga with goga is in nairobi but even from there all you have to do is put in hashtag the home team like ags road tripping what were you going to say about the foods that people eat corey what foods do you put in the chat what foods do you eat that have iodine and that can help support your thyroid health and we're going to talk about those foods in a moment because but... you know what uh bravo i mean Sonovia is saying nice but bravo with sheila ladies last chat is saying fish eggs and some salt because you know there's iodine salt and seafood that's why she said fish because mm -hmm. seafood has the iodine as well uh look at uh <laughs> yoga with gogo shouting out sonovia everybody loves sonovia Ridley. so any other foods that you all eat to increase your iodine i don't know y'all let us know <laughs> now again the the thyroid gland is a very very complex part of the your human engine because it when it comes to weight loss you have to think about it well, thyroid, wait, are you gonna tell what we eat to increase our iodine we'll, we'll get there in a minute let me oh. ask you and hashtag the home team y'all and again the thyroid helps control your metabolism if your metabolism is low then your energy is low, low. then if your energy is low then you're not going to be wanting to move. You might have some depression, some anxiety that keeps you from wanting to get out and do things, which is going to mean if your activity is low, that means your joint pain and muscle pain is going to be high and your weight is going to remain 
high. Mm -hmm. So it's all rolled into one when you think about thyroid health. So if you're having problems, you're losing those stubborn pounds, you're having joint pains, if you're having hair loss, if you have anxiety, we have a friend of ours that we know that cannot lose weight, but also has a lot of anxiety and ADHD that's been brought on by his underactive thyroid. Yeah, you know, I didn't realize ADHD could be related to that because, you know, uh, a look like a low uh, hypothyroid thyroidism, yes. yeah, low thyroid hormones or low iodine. Because then, AJ is road tripping, he says, got to be careful with the salt in the U.S. Silica dioxide can't be good for the bloodstream. Because it's, it's different in the in the U.S. They do a lot of different stuff with their food, right? It's crazy. Uh, yeah. Thank you for Oreo Mouse. She put in the home team all together, right along with Hands in the Dirt. We're about to do first, first place, place pony because we're halfway through the show. Y'all know this is just a 30 minute episode for good times. Uh, it's so good hanging with you all. Now for us to get iodine into our diet, outside of the iodine salt that the little girl wearing the yellow raincoat, <laughs> <laughs> we actually also in include a lot of sea vegetables, seaweed, kelp, Fruits and vegetables nori. every day, our faves, we get them in. So a lot of you guys- Oh, you know what, Corey, repeat those because Oreo Mouse 8888 is saying, I don't know what foods have iodine in them. So like you're saying- Sea vegetables, nori, seaweed, kelp. That's why uh, Bravo Sheila, one I can't ladies, say the pronounce of the D. ladies, let's chat. She put in mm -hmm. dolts. That's, dolts. That's why Bravo with Sheila put in fish because the seafood typically has iodine. For us, we don't eat seafood, and for because a lot of, of people mercury. that have allergies, yeah, we don't eat it because of the mercury toxicities and the pollution in the ocean. There's so much crazy stuff going on. So, you know, some people have allergies to seafood. However, sea vegetables filter differently, so they aren't toxic like the foods are, or like the fish and the sea life are in there that's swimming around. So, if you like so sushi, I, yeah, you like sushi, sushi, you can get nori or seaweed along it to um, eat. The wraps made with snorri and seaweed, so that you can get the iodine from that. You can get a seaweed salad to go along with seaweed salad. is excellent too. You get a seaweed salad. Yeah, I wonder to go if you've all, you, if you've ever had seaweed salad because yoga with goga. I know in Kenya you all have um, Lake Victoria. Uh, you also because you all are. I, I know that's a big land. Uh, I mean, excuse me, that's a big body water body of water for you. I don't know if y'all have seaweed in a lake, but do y'all eat seaweed salad? Seaweed. Oh yeah, because it's from the sea. Okay, sorry. Maybe I'm not. trying to say that too loud, but <laughs> you put it out there. But either way, but again, our girls love the nori, nori sheets. You can get nori sheets. Those little snacks. Like she, my, my middle daughter, Christiana, she's always said, "I like eating nori sheets because I feel like I can eat paper, and y'all can't yell at me for it." Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's like little green squares of uh, seaweed. Right. Yeah, that they've been pressed and rolled out. So TWP popcorn does have. Hashtag the home team in there. Good, good, good. Because we are about to run the first place pony. And Oreo Mouse was like, uh, yeah, Morton Salt, the one with the blue rain, the blue, the girl in the with the umbrella. Right, the blue, the box. blue box with the yellow raincoat girl and the umbrella and salt falling on top of it. Yeah. But again, the, the, the iodized salt, you know, has its own. You don't want to overdo it on the iodized salt. But that's you want to get food. When right. we say whole food, you want to get a whole food. That's why we're saying like the seed vegetables uh those are the ones like the seaweed the nori the dulse the kelp all of those are seed vegetables and plants filter things differently so let's get on to first place pony now the twp popcorn has put in hashtag the home team i'm glad that was helpful oreo mouse said thank you for explaining good 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 and you know the other thing is all vegetables or plants they have fiber too so we're going to get into fiber next because that's one of the best things you can get for your health and you know what? Gail at night, boom, she's giving it to us, y'all. I was saving the gym for later, but y'all know Gail knows everything. What about sea moss? Yep, sea moss. There you go. That's yes. a whole nother. That's a whole, a whole, I hate it when I say a whole nother. That's not even a word. Yeah, uh, it is. A whole we nother say is so not a word. Y'all, get your sea a moss whole, in. An entirely different uh, <laughs> source of iodine is your sea moss. You know what? Uh, sea moss is the best. You know it has, they say, 97 minerals in it, right? Um, the thing about sea moss is it has so many health benefits and it comes from the sea, of course. Uh, there's always things with sea moss or any products where you try to source it sustainably, not just sustainably, but responsibly. Like, you know, it's people out here scamming. That's all I'm trying to say. So get it from a good, reliable source, <laughs> the same way you would want to get your seafood if you eat fish from a reliable source. Who do you get your sea moss from? I get my sea moss from a couple of different places because there's... Um, Oh my goodness, what's his name? And he gets his from St. Lucia. 
um Pierre. Akeem Pierre. Yes, he gets his from St. Lucia because that's where he's from. And his website is amazing. So yes. And you know what? Gail at night is, is saying CMOS is an easier way for her to get it straight or throw it in a smoothie. smoothie yep. That's you know what I was saying. I can't take it straight. Me neither. That I can, too it's thick. grassy. It's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it it kind of makes me like think of moringa, but with a fishy taste to it. <laughs> but what um, the crazy AJS road trippers say, I got a lot of uh iodine from the scrapes and scratches <laughs> as, as scrapes and cuts. As but kids. you know what? <laughs> I was looking at a doctor who was talking about that. If you want to see if you have an iodine deficiency, this is not a medical tried and true test, but he said it's something that can be baseline that you can do at home. He said, right on your inner thigh, take some iodine, rub it on, and then cover it for a day. If you're iodine deficient, that little patch of iodine will be will have disappeared because your skin would have absorbed it. However, if you're not iodine deficient, you still should see the iodine stain oh. on your skin. But he so said look, that's we're just a base, AJ, but that that's, might a, be that's just a baseline. That's just a baseline. I just listened to Stacey. We told y'all Hands in the Dirt knows some things. If you have not been to Hands in the Dirt channel, look, head on over there because not only do they do Wind Down Wednesday, but he says to say yes to okra, it'll make your skin pretty like our host and Gail. Mm, Y'all know Gail is thicker than a snicker. So everybody talks about Gail. Uh, another beautiful I'm going to tell woman. Mrs. Hands in the Dirt that you over here flirting with Gail and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, so, it's okay to flirt with my wife, but don't flirt with Gail. You know what? Another <laughs> beautiful woman, Bravo with Sheila Ladies Last Chat, says, my grandson loves seaweed. He tears them up. It's good. It's a, it's a great, and it's a good snack. And you don't have to feel guilty after you eat it. I mean, you can, you can, the girls eat a whole pack. Well, mm -hmm. I'll be fine. So, yeah. So, um, definitely. Gail at night is reminding them this is for informational purposes only. None of this is medical advice. So, let's, so let's go first place. running. Own it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another run of the blind guy, his wife, their life live. So wait, this is for people that have put in hashtag the home team. The first person in the chat today, do you remember who it was, Corey? David Hunt. I think it was TWP Popcorn. Well, David Hunt was the first one you read. Or no, I think it was Calpona. Uh, I, I can't remember her number, but it was Calpona. Um, either way, y'all, you can't have... This is just first place bragging rights because somebody was already first and it was not you. So <laughs> that's what this race is for. Uh, let's go for it, Corey. A lot of people are in the running and they got it in there. And you know what? Bravo with Sheila Ladies Let's Chat is reminding y'all that yes, CMOS is perfect. And thank you so much, Gail at Night, for dropping Hands in the Dirt's channel. Hands in the Dirt, you know, youtube.com forward slash at Hands in the Dirt. Good. Lash's journey is in the race. Let's go for it. Da, 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 da. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another run of the blind guy. His wife, their life live. First place, Pony Derby. All the jockeys at Mountain and ready to ride the Queen of Marie. Yes. What would you say if somebody said you had to eat a pound of sardines just to get your eye down in? Boing. Oh, no. And they're off. All right, Miss Trish, Hands in the Dirt, Bro Odom's Homestead. Lashes Journey, Oreo Mouse, Yoga with Goga, Bravo with Sheila, Ladies, Let's Chat, Miss Trish, Oreo Mouse, and Yoga with Goga, No Okra, Odom's Homestead, hey, congratulations! Odom's Homestead, <laughs> first place point came riding in on a seahorse. Hold on, we win. Wonderful, wonderful, congratulations. All right, hold on a second. I think we are glitching a little bit. Congratulations to Odom's Homestead. Awesome, awesome for winning first place pony. Let's take a quick coffee break and we'll come back and tell you what you need to eat along with your uh, your seaweed, your sea moss, and your kelp and your nori and your dulse so that you Wait make sure that your iodine is getting carried into your cells with proper maximum So we're, we're going to find out how to pair it up. Okay. Right. So let's do the coffee Bravo, break. Which, we'll, go ahead. Coffee break and then I got it. Bravo with Sheila Ladies. Let's chat. It's saying her good friend just opened up a business, CMOS, the CMOS factory. She has given me CMOS to make. Yeah, because you can get it just the seed, the dried CMOS, and you can make your own gel, or you can get it already in the gel. So oh, man. Laquita set me up real good one time. She made her own CMOS gel and then put it in a uh, one of those Palama all fruit jelly jars. Oh, here I come thinking I'm going to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I spread some of it and I bite it. I'm like, Whoa! All I can say is check yourself, but at least you know what? It must be working because for hands in the dirt and saying, Corey, your skin looks nice too, brother. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. You know, I'm going to try to stay shaved and clean, clean and everything because, you know, people love to see me come out in the sunshine and, you know, all this ebony wonderfulness I got going on. But well, nevertheless. No ochre was a poor sport saying boo because they did not win first place pony, but at least Cassandra South Fulton Garden 
no okra, AJ's road trip, and an Oreo mouse were all good sports. So thank you all for hanging out, and we're going to take a quick, uh, why Oreo mouse said seahorse? <laughs> yeah, I can get riding on seahorse, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead on into the coffee break, you say? Yep. This broadcast is brought to you by Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is what I was trying to click on. XDMC says, if your partner eats a lot of iodine and sea moss, then you don't have, you know what? You don't have to. All you have to do is uh, use your imagination here. <laughs> and make sure you follow it up for fruits because you want to, if you want to eat what you, you eat, what you want to taste like. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you, Bravo Sheila. Let's go back to the congratulations. Thank you, Bravo Sheila, ladies. Let's chat. Thank you, Hands in the Dirt, for the congratulations to Odom's Homestead. Y'all uh, subscribe to Odom's Homestead. He is growing and he always sings. Stop laughing for <laughs> He always sings on his channel. Uh, so it's so much fun over there. And a lot of times you'll know the song. He might be making some of them up. I don't even know. Let's get into the first place pony. I mean, oh, coffee yeah. break. If you, want to be, if you want to be down with the Blind Guy His Wife that Life home team, don't forget to visit blindguyhiswife.com and click the green coffee Corey cup. does not have his green coffee cup today, y'all. But I'll show you on our website, scrolling at the bottom of the screen, blindguyhiswife.com. When you scroll over to there, there is a little green coffee cup. And when you click that widget, it does open. When you click the coffee cup, it opens a widget. You can support this stream with one coffee, three coffees, five coffees. Corey has been blind over 25 years. So a lot of times we often put in 25 uh, to give an example of how you can do it. Leave your name, say something nice, and you can see what the J. Jordan has done, JBWR, AJ's Road Tripping, and everyone else. You thank know, you all for your support. Thank you, guys. And you can also do what others have done and support this stream by remembering. Visit StreamYard.com and try StreamYard for free because our broadcast is powered by StreamYard. But also make sure that you become you can become a sponsor. This yep, I was showing them the sponsorship opportunities right under there. So, yes. This broadcast is brought to you in part by promotional considerations paid for by the following unmuted sponsors. Oh, yeah. We do have to uh, say hello to the sponsors because, you know, LP has been lurking. So that's Lurkin what I'm, pro. yep, LP, the Lurkin Pro has been lurking. And of course, Love and Live Show is here in time to see the, the sponsors. Love and Live Show. Also, <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's thank our sponsors because without them, y'all, this could not happen. Thank you, sponsors. Bring me my hot sauce. <laughs> Supreme sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme Sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme Sponsor, Hollywood Cuts. Supreme Sponsor, Private School in California. Supreme Sponsor, Mount Zion AME Church. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. All right, y'all, right. we are back. And y'all know we are increasing our iodine today. We're just about to end the show because this is a 30-minute episode. Uh, y'all know where to go to get all the resources. We have food games on blindguyhiswife.com. So if you are there, that's where you go. There are lots of food games and all that good stuff. Uh, of course, we've given you lots of resources. We've listed lots of doctors like Dr. Neil Barnard of PCRM. Dr. Neil Barnard uh, has a whole hospital in the DC area. And also- So is Dr. Milton Mills out in Texas. Yeah, no. Not uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Montgomery, Baxter, Baxter Montgomery, Montgomery you're out right. In Texas. And he even has a restaurant. They've had to add a restaurant to their, to their uh, hospital. He has a heart hospital where they do put in stents and catheters, but he brings people back from the brink of the dead with juice feasts is what he called it, where he had given people juices through their feeding tubes and the folks was unconscious and they came on back. So even an Oreo mouse wants coffee, look, let hey, me tell you want coffee, juice. man, go to rolljava.com. Get your coffee delivered right to your door. Premium oh, so blends, true. specialty blends, freshly, freshly roasted and ground the day that you order. Rolljava.com. That's it. So, Corey, we have to end this show with a couple of pairings. So because just like the Black Panther couldn't carry the day against the his enemies uh, to attack in Wakanda without his Dora Milaje, I, Iodine has to have his own Dora Milaje fleet along with them because Iodine, you can, with sea vegetables like seaweed and nori, you can actually get calcium from those too. But the Iodine has to be carried by 
being accompanied by zinc and selenium that you can get from seeds and nuts. Ah, so that's the pairing. So don't you say it, XDMC. Keep going. What do you mean? I ain't gonna repeat it just in case you missed it. Keep going. Okay, all right. So seeds and nuts is what Corey is saying. Um, speaking of seeds and nuts, we do have a secret, y'all. Uh, and, and I'm saying this is speaking of seeds and nuts because you know, seeds, secrets, just the alliteration there, Corey. Mm. It, this ain't really related. Uh, what is related though is that we mentioned coffee and Love and Live Show has gotten coffee from rolljava.com, R O L L Java.com. She says, great coffee. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. So uh, the secret, y'all, is that one reason why <laughs> if you're looking at today's episode, you can see that the back is fuzzy. We're in a secret location working on one of those government contracts that we told y'all in the past that we don't have to bid for. And, you know, the money falls out of the sky and all that good stuff. I think it's because of our fruits and vegetables that we eat every day. So, of course, when you say seeds and nuts, we definitely eat plenty of trail mix, but not a lot. Like uh, that's one way we eat our seeds and nuts. I typically will grind them up. I'll add them to the oatmeal. So I will buy pecans, walnuts, pumpkin seeds. I'll put them in the food processor. We have one on our Amazon shop that has the immersion blender with it and it has an attachment. So it comes with the immersion blender and the full kit. So you have a food processor and a mini food processor. A lot of times I'll use the mini one to either grind coffee beans from rolljava.com or <laughs> to mix those nuts so they're already blended. I can add them to a smoothie. I can add them to our oatmeal. And I can also, if I don't chop them, then the kids take them for lunch where they will add craisins, chocolate chips, the non-dairy ones, and the nuts and seeds blends. And that's a good way that we get our, and of course they also eat the nori. Why are you so, laughing already, Corey? Because you see what she said, she adds to uh, the, the oatmeal and the smoothie. She adds, these, uh, you know what? It'd be good, Corey, because Alimatu Sadia Vlogs is here and Oreo Mouse is laughing at you. Because, uh, look, you said don't repeat it, and I think I did. said it like 30 times after that. <laughs> Seeds and nuts. Seeds look, and nuts. Odom's Homestead <laughs> is saying awesome because he won the first place pony. I think this gets us right into our plant based treat for today because we've been talking about. But don't forget to get your fiber because when you have a slow, uh, underactive thyroid, it can lead to uh, constipation, slow metabolism, which can always lead to weight gain, joint pain. So it's, a, it's like a cascading effect. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get your iodine from your seaweed, your nori, your sea kelp. But those, those have fiber in them too. Yes, they do. Because all of foods sea that, vegetation. Yeah, all foods that grow from the ground have fiber, and fiber helps take away cholesterol, it helps lower your blood pressure. But this is not medical advice. Get it from your own doctor. Make it, sure you eat some Brazil nuts, some chia seeds, flax seeds. Make sure you eat some sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds to get the zinc and selenium to help the iodine do its job in your body to help that thyroid out. And then make sure you get your fiber from your green leafy vegetables, your cruciferous vegetables, mm -hmm. so that you can have a healthy digestive system to help that thyroid function at maximum capacity and lose those stubborn pounds before mm -hmm. bikini season starts. Now, y'all know that we got to hurry up and go because we got people like Zenobia Ridley sneaking in from work, but she's back for now. And uh, Oreo Mouse says, you sure are using the word seeds and nuts heavily today. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it. <laughs> Look, it's good. Y'all know repetition helps you to remember things. So Odom's homestead is, is y'all know, I told y'all he's over there growing. You see him in the garden. He's letting us know here in the chat, them greens have a lot of fiber. Absolutely. Yes, they do. And really anything that grows in the ground, it just, everything has fiber, right? So of course, uh, I know I keep saying it. I'm gonna stop saying it, Oreo Mouse. Alimatu mm -hmm. Sadia Vlogs is laughing, but y'all know she's from Ghana, Alimatu Sadia Vlogs. She's in Kuwait, but she's from Ghana. She can let you know all of those foods, plant foods that grow from the ground, even rice. Now we promote fruits and vegetables. If you're eating grains and they're growing from the ground and you're eating them in their whole form, so, for example, instead of a rice cake, you're eating rice. Instead of applesauce, you're eating apples. Those are the foods where you've kept all of the fiber. Don't you just like the mind of a woman? We got to go. It's time oh, let's to go. Let's wait, wait, wait. We got to go. It's time to, we reach the end of this 30 minute, this 30 minute broadcast. But four score and seven years ago, <laughs> our forefathers planted upon this nation seeds and nuts and nuts and seeds and seeds and nuts and nuts and seeds. Let's and get, get to the plant based <laughs> treat, Corey, because there are some nuts and seeds in today's plant based treat. <laughs> We're not vigilantes. We're not fruit hoodlums. We're just the plate advisors that Wally has declared us to be. Getting you to get your phase, fruits and vegetables every, every spray. So with that being said, it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. Getting you to eat more fruits and vegetables every day at every single meal. Oh my goodness. 
See, now everybody's chit-chatting. I'm not going to say anything else to uh, Yoga with Gogo or Odom's Homestead or anyone else. Uh, Y'all just do what Gail has advised you to do. Odom's Homestead won first place pony, so she has dropped his link for his channel, his YouTube channel. And do not follow no okra uh, because he doesn't like okra. But Love and Live show has been doing that. Yay me. She's been eating her foods as whole foods. So instead of drinking orange juice, she's eating the oranges. That's the way to do All it. Right. That way you get the full effect of the food. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, Corey. Plant-based treat. Here we go. And this one, of course, does include something. I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> Super Bowl sweets. Get these oranges all sliced up. I cut out the center a little bit by cutting a V. Cara Cara or blood oranges are super sweet. And each orange will give you about 10 slices. We're gonna get our pineapple sliced up. So we'll just cut the bottom off here. Cut the top off. Go right around the outside. Pineapples and oranges have calcium and manganese, great for healthy bones. Pineapples have bromelain, reduces nasal swelling, helps digestive disorders. Remove the tough pineapple center. Eating fresh fruit before a meal helps with digestion. Add the brownie bites. They have oats, dates, cacao powder. Oats have anthamide, an antioxidant that's almost solely found in oats. This antioxidant reduces your blood pressure by increasing the production of nitrous oxide. Trophy winning trail mix. So we make a quick trail mix with pumpkin seeds, walnuts, cashews, and chocolate chips. For nut allergies, substitute sunflower, hemp, and sesame seeds. Add dried cranberries or other dried fruits. Crazes are not crazy raisins, they're dried cranberries. All right, y'all, Sonovia Ridley loves fruits. That's the way to do it. Uh, of course, Oreo Mouse, uh, I'm not going to say it again. It was already in there. And poor No Okra, uh, we're not going to listen to him because at least Ali Matu Saudi of Vlog says it looks healthy and yummy. And so does Odom's Homestead. He says that looks delicious, yummy. How do we get out of here today, Corey? Let's say goodbye. And I'm not going to say uh, anything else. Or your mouse is saying fruit. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Y'all get your fruits and vegetables in every day and get your iodine. Balance your thyroid hormones. Don't be those people that can't gain weight, can't lose weight. You want to be able, oh, the plant-based doctors, they report when people increase their fruits and vegetables and eat a mainly whole fruits and vegetables lifestyle, they typically balance their hormones. So yes, they don't have to worry about uh, weight gain, weight loss. It's balanced all of a sudden. And like you're saying, they get rid of a lot of other issues as well. So your friend with the ADHD, and you said, what else did he have? ADHD, anxiety, depression. Those are some of the things, anxiety and depression that have been proven, uh, medically proven thyroid. to be, well, to be balanced when you are eating whole foods. Oh, okay. So yes, that's what I'm saying, yes. So again, get your iodine in from the sea vegetables, seaweed, nori, kelp, dulse, but make sure that you're eating the zinc and selenium from the Brazil nuts, the pumpkin seeds, the flax seeds, the chia seeds. Oh no, not seeds. the nuts again, or your mouse is saying. <laughs> oh, sure but you, you know what, Odin, that, Odin that helps, says that yes, about to start that strawberry first root we get. Thank you for that oh. tip, because it's early March here in the States, uh, it's, excuse me, it's late March, about to go into April, and so strawberries are good to plant now. Thank you for that. And make sure you get those uh, seeds and nuts in because that way it can help that the iodine when it hits the thyroid, the thyroid can tra translate into the thyroid hormone that it needs to make to help you man maintain your metabolism, which is going to help you with the weight loss. Yep. So, so make that trail mix like Love and Live Show. It's super simple and it's something you can snack on. Just put some in your hand and that's about as much as you need. Make sure you check out plantsbasedtreats.org because Gail at Night has dropped that link. We have been updating our sites. So we have the team in the back working and we're trying to make sure you have a good experience everywhere. But either way, make sure you get your fruits and vegetables every spread. We're gonna say goodbye the same way you can say goodbye to those unwanted pounds, low energy, hair loss, and You didn't pain. tell them to text us for notifications. Oh, that's right, text us. If you wanna be notified when we're going live and having giveaways at other events, Text 757-231-3949. Text the home team. Text the home team to 757-231-3949.
And with that being said, we're going to say goodbye the same way you can say goodbye to weight to weight gain, to or also to weight problems, pain, hair loss, and anxiety, depression, and all the other things that go along with uh, underactive or overactive thyroid. You can say just by eating iodine, seeds and nuts, and green <laughs> vegetables. You can say, do say. <laughs>